Hey guys, this is a quick review on the uh, new Windspace Loon wheel set. So if you're not familiar with these, these are the budget-friendly Windspace versions of uh, their, their wheel set. These spokes are uh, steel. Um, I'll drop the specs below, but um, this is certainly more budget friendly than the uh, their wind space uh, hyper wheels. So uh, I found out about these wheels from a YouTuber, and I'll drop his name above. And these were ordered way back in March, March 15th. I actually just received them a few days ago. So it's May, let's say uh, May 21st. So they, they did get hung up at port for quite a while. So uh, be ready to wait for these. So what I ordered was the 60 millimeters. I didn't opt to go for the 40 because my bike, my other super bike is, is a, a tarmac. Uh, S-Works Tarmac with 45s and I uh, figured I'd be using this primarily for crits at the Rose Bowl here in LA and for uh, our group rides which are primarily about 2,000 climb, not, not much climb. So arrows are everything so I went with the bigger wheel set. So there is no unboxing, I was actually pretty eager to get these on the bike. Um, but I'll, I'll list all the items it comes with. Um, it is tubeless ready, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna run these down and, until they, the rubber has to be replaced. Then I'll, I'll give tubeless a go. So first impressions, um, they look pretty cool. And um, I like the, the non-white decals. I'm not really big on the the, the Loon logo, so I wanted more stealthy look. So let's talk about the positives. Positives, uh, noticeably faster on the flats. I mean, that goes back to the larger um, rim, rim depth. You know, the larger you go, the faster you go. Um, these are fast, for sure. Uh, one thing that's positive I wasn't expecting was that the actual uh, brake surface is, is actually fairly good comparative to other um, wheels, carbon wheels I've used, and I'm sure everyone's had that issue where your braking power is, is substantially uh, weakened due to carbon braking surfaces. But this one, and I'll, I'll show you a close-up, this one's like etched. So I, I imagine that's near to dissipate some heat. But, um, uh, and the pads are, are pretty good, so I've been pretty happy. I mean, my other bike is is um, rotors and you know, nothing's going to compare to that braking ability, so I can't really compare the two. But and it's also not nearly as as good as the aluminum uh, braking surfaces. So let's talk about the negatives. These are noticeably harder to spin up to speed. Um, so uh, again, this is like not fair comparison to my superbike, which is the. S-Works uh, Tarmac SL6 disc, but uh, those run, I'm running 45s on that, this is 60. Um, this just feels heavier just to get up to speed. Uh, climbing, same thing, it's just kind of heavier. Uh, but once you get going, it's, you know, it's moving. Um, would I have gone and gotten the 40? Maybe. Um, maybe in maybe Alaska. The manufacturer is willing to send a set out so I can test those. But um, happy with them, happy with the quality. Uh, do recommend them. They are just heavier, so just keep that in mind. If you do have some climbs, they they'll feel uh, heavier. Guys, thanks for uh, watching. If you, if you want to see very few and only useful reviews, subscribe to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, that was my hot take on the loons. Um, if you're interested in short and useful reviews, like nope. uh, the subscribe button. <laughs> Thanks.